Sorry about that, babe. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bits Plays Final Fantasy II on the Famicom slash NES. This is part 26, I believe. Uh, in the last part, uh, we... Actually, let me double check there. I don't have to do some awkward voiceover. I'm really bad at this shit, guys. Anyways, yes, it is part 26. Uh, in the last part, we conquered the Mesidia Tower. And when we came back out to take a look at Altea and such, we realized that the world is now in ruin. Uh, basically, there's crazy strong monsters just everywhere. Uh, pretty much all areas, the random encounters have changed to uh, be a bump up. Uh, Altea is destroyed. Uh, I'm sure Gatea is as well, I just didn't check there. I also checked the town of Palm. That was also destroyed. Uh, so yeah, that sucks, huh? <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, pretty much at this point, uh, when I got done, I grinded a little bit, as you guys can see the stats here. I bumped Richard above 1,000 HP. Uh, Bits and Leboshi now cracked the 3,000 barrier, and Oneida went up a little bit. Um, I got Ultima up to level 2, Cure up to level 10. Uh, no weapon upgrades I don't think happened. I think Richard's shield might have gone up a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Leboshi's afflicted by Dark. Didn't realize that. We're gonna have to heal. Uh, yeah, nothing crazy. I only grinded for about, I don't know, maybe like 25 minutes or so uh, earlier this evening before my recording. So yeah, basically I was kind of like a little lost. I wasn't quite sure where to go. And then you know what I remembered? I'm an idiot. Hilda and company um, moved from fucking Altea to the Finn Castle. Remember that whole basement of Finn Castle and such? So basically, I'm gonna try to go back to Finn Castle to see where we're going the next. Uh, I stuttered there, oh well. And it looks like, according to my map, there really is only one area left, the Paramechia Castle, but uh, we do have the Whirlwind and the Jade Portal. So I'm going to assume that the Whirlwind is probably technically next, but we probably have to go back to Finn to advance the story. Anyways, enough rambling. Let's go back to our ship, which is up north. We're not gonna, uh, we're not gonna abuse the save reset method, because quite frankly, I'm too lazy. So we'll just fight anything that comes our way. <clears throat> the one thing that I will note, also I apologize guys, I literally sneezed before I started recording, so I'm all stuffed up. Um, the one thing that I noted here, uh, with all the enemies changing, this is one of the more ran uh, common encounters at this point. But, there's an encounter with those suckers, and they're gray. And they suck out your magic, they're called M-Suckers. Um, they pretty much sucked out Bits' entire magic pool, so I'm wondering if they literally take every last bit of MP, or if it's like, you know, something like 40 or 50. The reason why Bits' MP went up was because when I fought them, and they drained his MP down to zero, it shot up pretty quick after that. That's like the easiest way probably to level up your, uh, your magic is to get into a fight with those guys and like do your best to like not hit them and have them just drain your shit. So if I ever feel like I need to uh, <clears throat> raise like Oneida's pool or something, that's honestly the quickest way to do it. Um, I was trying to level up her MP by casting Cure 10 and I don't know, shit wasn't even moving, man. <sighs> yeah, one of the things that I've noticed is the, uh, the status effect brigade is back. The, uh, the new enemies here on the world map are quite ridiculous. I'm getting a ton of gill, but I really don't even think I'm going to be using it anymore, unfortunately. Maybe I'm incorrect, but unless the Paramecha Castle selling stuff, there's really nothing for me to buy anymore. Alright. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Uh, we are above Mesidia. So yeah, we want to head back to Finn. Which is pretty much just north. Don't want to go in there. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot these encounters changed as well. So I think we'll focus our attack. Two on the bigger thing. Sea Dragon. Wow, it fled. So I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I guess my grinding is really affecting the flea rates of the enemies at this point, but... Uh, 
the way that they flee reminds me of like early game when those super weak enemies were fleeing from me. Like, they're not that weak. When I was grinding, I actually got killed by a couple things. But you know what? I ain't gonna complain. I'll take it. Alright, so I'm trying to think of the best place to park my ship. It's actually probably here, right? Because then I can get into my canoe. That's destroyed. But this is not. Hmm. So the Empire was able to destroy pretty much everything except Finn Castle. Which is interesting. Oh, is that the... What is that? B. That's the whirlwind. See, it looks like a tornado. So I think I'm probably gonna have to go there. But first, I want to uh, touch base with everybody. It's been a bit. We seem powerless before the Emperor's magic. Ah, the Emperor produced the whirlwind. You can't enter the whirlwind. Your bodies will be torn apart. The Emperor is inside of the whirlwind, you say? Wow, alright. If it succeed, peace will return. This is Finn's second floor. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. There are many repairs to be done. I'm waiting for the prince. I'm just glad that they uh, spaced out the dialogue, because I don't know if you guys remember earlier in the playthrough, there was that one room where there was like literally ten people and they all said the same shit. <clears throat> Alright, what do we got here? Oh, is that? What's her face, Layla? The Emperor conjured a whirlwind. It's coming right for us. Alright. The Emperor is hiding within the eye of the whirlwind. Alright. Even though we now have Ultima, it's still hopeless. We'll be swallowed by the whirlwind before we could use it. It would be impossible to enter unless we could fly. Oh, so we have to presumably meet up with Sid? The ship capsized in the storm. I couldn't find any of you. I'm so glad to have found you. You know what, Layla? I'm still not, like, happy with you because you literally tried to kill us and then you just joined our party, like, as if we forgot. You know what I mean? Hmm. So you have to enter with a, with a ship, right? And by ship, I mean the flying, the flying ship, if you will. Where the fuck, though, is... What's his face? Maybe Sid's back at town? We haven't utilized his services yet, really. I mean, we, we technically did, I guess, uh, after that one part earlier in the game, but... Maybe now is the time where he steps up. So if we can't enter the whirlwind without, you know, a flying apparatus of some sort... Yeah, I'm gonna say we have to find Sid, so... Oh, is this the town with the thing? What's this guy doing? A whirlwind suddenly came. Everyone was swallowed up into the ocean. Yeah, the pub was what I was looking for. How do I get to that? Can I get to that? <clears throat> Am I able to, like, hug the edge here? Hmm. was in there? Oh, you know, I'm remembering now. This was the town, right, that was uh, overrun by the Empire. There was somebody in here, right? Wasn't it the ninja? Yeah. Even you guys are stuck this time. The whirlwind is horrible. You're trying to break in? I can't believe you guys. Well, here's a tip. Search beside the bed. Is Sid hiding? <laughs> Search beside the bed. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh! Uh oh. Good and not good. Don't have a lot of, uh, <clears throat> inventory space. I guess we'll see what's here. Oh, what? We're getting armor and shit. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Okay, I got changed things a little bit. Uh. I guess I could dump an ice wind. Oh, it's getting tough in the streets here, people. Getting tough in the streets. Well, I guess we'll just open it up and see what else is here. Quartz. Gold pin. 
Well, we can just drop the gold pin. We have a plenty of money. Ooh, we got another blood sword. Which again, I heard guys is like really good for some bosses in this game. Silver armor, that could certainly be dropped at this point, right? <clears throat> All right, let's see. Did we have the ruby armor before? I can't remember. Let's take a look at what we got. We have the white robe. Black robe. Ice armor. And black armor. So I'm gonna say that probably ice armor is likely better than any of these. Oh yeah. Oh, these are kind of low-key trash, aren't they? Yeah, they seem like they're actually pretty bad. I'll try bits real quick, but we might just be dropping those. Yeah, those are horrible. No big deal. Well, now we have enough uh, inventory to just loot. Elixir, always good. Thief Gauntlet in black armor. Black armor might be decent. Uh, Thief Gauntlet. Pretty sure is bullshit, and I think I had it before. I want to keep the elixir, obviously. <clears throat> I do apologize, guys. I'm like really freaking stuffed up tonight and burping nonstop, probably from my my cokes. Ah, uh, black armor. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So maybe. Hmm. Black armor be an upgrade here? Yes, indeed. And let's just double check, but I'm pretty sure the white the robes are actually pretty good. Oh, the ice armor is better? <clears throat> Interesting. And the black robe is an upgrade over the white robe, I believe? Yes. So the white robe is currently the weakest link, huh? Yeah, because of the black armor. Yep, okay, cool. Well, I mean, pretty good, I guess, but now we need to sell some shit. I was kind of hoping that, like, don't get me wrong, I'm happy that I found another blood sword and a couple armor upgrades, but I was kind of hoping there was, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe Sid's in there. Here's a, a key to an airship. Oh my god, is this dude gonna leave so I can fucking get out of here? Is he glitching? What the hell, dude? Get out of the door! Oh my god. No. No! Oh my god, this is so fucking annoying. Ugh. Can this fucking Dingleberry get the hell out of there? Because if he's in that way, I can't fucking force him out. Oh my god. Yes, Ooh. Thank goodness. Alright, let's go sell some shit. <clears throat> hmm. Sell the white robe. Uh, I'm keeping both blood swords. You know what? I don't know. I'll sell this. Whatever. Sell Ice Wind as well. I just gotta clear some inventory, man. At the end of the day. Tons of ethers, which obviously will probably uh, rip through pretty quickly as we continue on. Not concerned about those, those are gonna be useful. <clears throat> okay, so let me think here. I guess we'll go explore the castle again? Like, I really don't know. Because I can't think- I don't think I can even get around to the pub. Right? If I take one step out... Oh, maybe? No, if I think if I step over here, I, I leave. Oh, I don't? Huh. Well, maybe Sid's in here? Okay. Well, so much for that idea. Alright, let's go back to the castle and explore around a bit. There's gotta be something there. Everything else is destroyed and I can't go into the whirlwind, so I don't really fucking know what else to do. <laughs> uh... Alright, so this is the second floor. This is the third floor. And the next one's the throne room, so... I think there was another set of stairs somewhere around here. 
Correct me if I'm wrong. Or was it just looting? Oh, there's some stairs there. How do I get over there? Can't remember. Huh. How do I get over there? Was there a false wall? Can't remember. Oh! Uh, there was a false wall, but not where I wanted to go. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, wait, it was over here, right? I think. Yes. And now I can go left. Ah. Uh. Hmm. How do I get over there? Maybe there was something on the floor below. Also, I got some comments about how loud my controller is, Jimmy. Um, hey man, I didn't make this controller. The way Retro USB made this shit, it's loud as hell. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do, dude! But, I keep talking about it, I'm probably gonna... <clears throat> when I'm done with this playthrough, I'm probably gonna switch to my other controller. This one's okay. But I, I just think the 8-bit Dill one's, like, superior. It's also not as loud. What is this again? Oh yeah, a mirror. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's a shiny mirror. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Um... Probably not the masks, but... Let's just go through our inventory, fuck it. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. What about... the pendant? Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, good. I figured it had to be something in the castle. The pendant's light is being absorbed into the mirror. Oh, is that a... a hero or whatever? A Ryu? Through the mirror, an image of the egg appears and hatches into a Hiryu. Oh, that's the... the fucking... the egg that I threw in the, um... in that one cave, dungeon. The Dragoon and the Hiryu are together at la Oh my god, did he leave? Okay, wait. What is- what does that mean? Oh! I know what that means. Hmm, is this game advanced enough that Richard knows jump now? But I feel like now that they're reunited, that probably means that Richard's, uh, like, Dragoon powers are, like, maximized or some bullshit. Well. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Well, first I want to rest at the inn, I think, because I did use a few heals. Uh, and I think Richard lost some M uh, HP somewhere along the way. Alrighty. Let's get a save. We're probably gonna end up encountering a fucking enemy on the way up to the, uh, the thing, but I feel like the Dragoon will probably be able to jump in now. Which will be, uh, exactly what we wanted. I was gonna say, can we run away? Nope. So you know what I'm doing? Fuck you, game. I'm getting over there. Fuck you. Alright. You know, I set up this, like, really cool, like, streaming area, which is basically where I record all my games and stuff, but I haven't been streaming. And even though it is, like, obviously a really good setup for my recording, because I have all these systems around me, pretty good monitor, my microphone's on, like, a, you know, a, an arm. Uh, it, it is a good setup. The one thing I will say, though, is I wouldn't mind moving my recording setup to, like, a couch. Just so I could, like, totally fucking relax. Uh, the computer that I'm recording everything with is really, really good. Uh, my laptop is definitely a step down, but it's still decent. Um, I think my laptop is an i7, and it's got like a, you know, like a, I don't know, a 10, 1080 NVIDIA or something in it. It's SSD and shit, so it's not a bad laptop by any means, but this computer is like 
way better than that, so I'm worried of like any kind of like downgrades. Anyway, I guess I'll save that for, for another video or something. <laughs> I was just thinking out loud. I think I'd be able to technically kind of record things more if I set things up uh, more comfortably. Coming down here, it's kind of an event all the time. But either way, that is exactly how we got into the whirlwind, and yet again, keeping up with the theme. This game, honestly guys, the last third of the game I've been really actually enjoying. Everything is eye-pleasing, challenging, but not too challenging. The middle of the game, though, could suck a fat one. <sighs> Alright. Let's see what kind of enemies we have here. Alright, so we got a bunch of these guys, in, or excuse me, girls. Uh, a lot of these ones ran away from me in the previous tower, so I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to run away from me. Um, probably not the green one, the Incredible Hulk, back there. But uh, I'm not going to be fucking around in here because I don't know, obviously, what this holds. Um, we're not going to be trying to level up. We're just going to be fighting through organically. I'm going to double up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to triple up, just in case. One of the things that I've noticed on the overworld, well, fled, is that the, uh, these battles where there's been multicolored ones and then only one of the different color, the one of the different color was considerably stronger than the other ones, so I really wasn't in the mood to mess around, but doesn't matter. Leboshi got an HP up? Oh, wait. Oh, shit, Leboshi got hit hard? Holy shit. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, then. Yeah, I'm gonna move that now since I'm not trying to level up Ultima. What do we got here? Okay, it's looking like one of those scenarios. Ripper knife. Nobody's using the knife though, right? The knife was um, a specialty of Layla, I think. Yeah. Anyway. Too bad, honestly. We could definitely take those guys out. Uh, actually, I should probably put Leboshi on him and then Richard over there. Uh, I remember back in the day when the Gyguses were like, I shit my pants every single time I <laughs> encountered one. And now they're, re they're really not that bad. Look at that, two hits, dead. Nice. All I gotta say, kids, grinding pays off. Grind, grind, grind in RPGs. If you can't handle the grind, get off the console, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'll use one here. Oh, actually, you know what, that's 10 HP now. I gotta be a little bit more mindful of what I'm doing, and I meant MP, not HP. All right, we'll cure here. Don't get me wrong, Cure 10 is awesome, but yeah, I just kind of thought about that. I gotta be a little bit... We gotta make sure that we're fucking injured before we start dropping Cure 10 around. Oh, what do we got here? Corpse? Corpse. So probably, like, fire and shit would be really good against these guys, but, um... I'm a heathen and I haven't really leveled up my magic, so... Is that it? What the fuck? Yo, how do you go from whatever that dinky damage was all the way up to 200 something in a poison? That's nuts. <clears throat> that is nuts. But I'll look at everything positively here again. Uh, you know, probably obviously gonna get some HP ups. Hopefully, I don't get killed. That's what I like to see. 420! <clears throat> uh, status effects. Poison axe? Huh. 
That actually might be good. <clears throat> Let's take a look. First, we're gonna need to heal our poison, obviously. Um, probably use a low level heal. Again, trying to conserve some of Oneidas. Yeah, I'm okay with that. We'll just cure twice here and then maybe cure Richard twice. We'll see. Yeah, I'll do Richard twice. All right, let's check out this poison axe. Currently, we're using the ogre axe. We got 95. Ooh! Wow, that is a big fucking upgrade. Was that a just a random drop? If so, that's fucking crazy, dude. If that's just a random drop. Honestly. Wow. Hmm. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen, but encounter rates on those are low. Oh my god, another... <laughs> uh, we got another poison uh, thing. That's funny. So hear me out here, guys. I actually think I'm gonna uh, exit. And the reason is, is we have to go down to floor one in order to go a different path, and I don't feel like fucking backtracking. So I'm fine with that. Ooh, Leboshi's on crit, right? Yeah. Can we just run? Nice. Here, let's... Let's not mess around. Just in case. <clears throat> yeah, but my reasoning there is basically just to save time. Um, you know, we went up to floor three, which was a dead end, basically. It sucks. We, <laughs> we didn't even need to go to floor three um, since that random encounter dropped the poison axe. But not only can we, you know, cut some time out by going back to the first floor, we can also sell a few things that we don't need, rest at the inn, go back in fully charged, and know exactly where to go. Because obviously we don't need this poison axe, and we also don't need that. So that's good. <clears throat> and then all we have to do is just uh, continue to search around floor one and not go uh, the direction that I went the first time, basically. Which was, I believe it was just the first stairwell. So we go to the second one. Alright, let's get a save. I might actually uh, save Scum here. If I can't get in. Which I was not able to. <sighs> Come on. Thank you. Alright. Let's go to the different stairwell. Which is over here. Hmm. Golem. Okay then. Um can I kill the corpse with this combo? It's a it's iffy. It's iffy. I really hate that we get poisoned. That's um Oh, and put to sleep? Ah, that's really not good. Okay, well that's noted. I'd rather be poisoned than put to sleep, so we need to uh, gear up all of our attacks against this fellow next time. Did not encounter him the first time through, it's odd. <clears throat> Again, glad we were treated, especially knowing what we know now. Luckily Richard woke up. Can we please get a KO here? I don't know how many HP this guy has, but... This is a little, a little scary, actually. He's got pretty good defense. Um, clearly. Uh, I guess we could always try Ultima. Only level 2, so it's probably not going to do much. Alright. Couldn't quite add up how much that was, but all I'm going to say is not my favorite encounter. <laughs> Also, we somehow didn't level up our HP, which sucks. Not a fan. Um, that being said, Laboshi, bust out your cure, boy! Oops. And a 
probably just do... Should I top off? Yeah, I'll top off. But I gotta chill, because again, 5 HP, or uh, MP. I keep saying HP. I'm brain dead. Did I really just get... Did I really just get this encounter? That sucks, actually. Wow, so I, I will say the uh, the second time through the fucking uh, the whirlwind here is not as fun. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. Our entire party's gonna probably end up getting poisoned, but I want to take this golem out because he puts people to sleep. Alright. Hopefully Leboshi can get his attack off on the corpse and kill him, please? Nope. Oh wow, he didn't fall asleep. Okay. Ooh, I just realized about Leboshi's poison axe. So he's probably gonna be ribbing through lower level guys. Like hard, like one hit KO, like guaranteed basically. Uh, see that's the kind of shit that's annoying about this game is popping into the same fucking fight three steps later and now I gotta do all the same fucking crap all over again. Heal, heal, heal. Uh, I'm still gonna conserve that. Yeah, better safe than sorry. If we continue to run into those types of fights, I want to be like basically all the way cured up as much as possible, and we're gonna do our best to save Oneida's um, MP at this point. Okay, so I'm hoping this is. A direct path. That's a quick floor, too. I like that. Alright, floor three. Also, I'm praying that my freaking power doesn't go out. It's like raining like crazy tonight. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'd much rather this fight at this point. We know what we're getting, basically. Uh, I guess I'll just double up. Triple up, if you will, on the, on the Gagas. Just don't give me any more of those, uh, undead rock golem dudes, and we're, we're a-okay. <clears throat> what did you drop? Curse, I'm actually just gonna say no thank you. We got loot. Diamond gauntlets, A. Eh? Um, who will be bearing the diamond gauntlets is the question. Maybe you? Absolutely. <clears throat> Oof. No likey. Oh, and we're ambushed. That's no good. That's no good. We will definitely be focusing all of our attacks uh, one at a time. A little rough. A little rough here. I will say. This is not a walk in the park. That's for sure. Hopefully we can at least kill this guy on this turn. That'd be great. Hmm. Yikes. Wow. Still didn't kill him. Um. In that case... Appreciate if you wake up, Richard. That'd be great. Get a little rough over here. <laughs> this fight is a little fucking rough. Wow. They have just enough HP where it's actually very difficult to kill them quickly, and a, a double up is uh, pretty freaking rough. Pretty rough, especially when your entire party's asleep. 
Yeah. So, okay, okay, why did we hit, like, fucking for 90? Man, keeps knocking out my, uh, strongest attacker, too, which is very, very frustrating. Richard literally just won't wake up. This dude is just taking a nap at this point. Richard, you're about to die, buddy. You should probably wake up. Wow, that was a really, really rough one, guys, huh? Really rough. But, as you can see, other than Oneida, who uh, somehow remains unscathed <laughs> all the time, it seems. Alright, gotta be, again... Well, I do have ethers, actually. I shouldn't be afraid to use those, you know? Obviously. be good. One more, I think, on bits. And then maybe a, uh, a total party one, and then we'll probably pop an ether. I do obviously have the ability to leave if I want to and save, but I have a lot of ethers, so I'm not gonna bother with that right now. That's fine. Alright, let's see what's on the other... Oh my god. Really? It's fucking game. And we're ambushed, and the bush is taking a nap. A little rough. A little rough. Hmm. It might actually be in my best interest to, uh... <sighs> I mean, losing 800 HP every fucking fight or more is not ideal. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm probably gonna... Maybe loot this floor, maybe do one more floor. And then I think I'll probably retreat, honestly. This is... what the fuck is going on here? How is this dude not dead yet? I guess because Loboji's been asleep the whole time, now that I'm thinking about it. Wow, that's, uh... that's shit. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Alright then. Y'all could chill, game. Seriously. For the love of God. Alright. I wonder if this floor is just fucking jam-packed with those guys. We'll see, right? No. Annoying, but not nearly as annoying as uh, those fucks. Mostly annoying, because I have to heal. Unless I strike first, which... Should probably get me through this encounter without getting hit once. Also just realized my fucking Discord's on. I don't want to be getting random bloops and shit going on. I'm so popular, you know? Just saw it on my phone. Freak SWAT. Trying to ruin my recording. I see you. Well, that could have been way worse. Thankfully, we got the, uh, the strike first, otherwise... What are you guys dropping? Another fucking poison? I mean, I'll grab it probably just because I'm leaving soon, but... Diamond helmet. So, probably another Leboshi, right? Ooh, actually a little... A little scared. Yeah, sure. Ah! What do we do? We'll take the defense upgrade. Excuse me, he gets targeted a lot, so... Is my inventory full? It is. Mm. Oh my god, I just realized the Hiryu is a fucking... <laughs> a, uh... Whatchamacall? Like an important item. I would have never guessed that shit. Um, alright, let's try to get the fuck out of here then. Oh, we made it. Alright, so noted for the next time around, floor three, we do not need to go uh, into the first stairwell. Let's push ahead one more floor, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. 
I gotta figure out what the fuck I'm doing. These encounters, it's funny, at one point in time, I'd literally be like crying if I saw this. Now I couldn't, could not care less, uh, if I tried. Really, my fight or flight when it comes to wherever I am right now, the Whirlwind, um, depends on Oneida's MP and how many ethers I have. Because I don't know how long this place is. I'm gonna assume that we're approaching, if not midway through, but mm, that's still not great, you know what I mean? Gold armor, just gonna exit. So now we should be... We're on floor four again, I believe. Um, let's do another cure. And how many ethers do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have five ethers. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. All right. Oh, <laughs> there we go. One fucking step. Thanks, game. Um, yeah, I don't know. You go there, you go there, you go there, and you go there. Hopefully we can not get poisoned. Yeah, I got poisoned, right? No? Poor Richard. He's just getting beat the fuck up. Golem's uh, scared of Leboshi's upgrade. He shook. You know what? Oneida's not doing much damage to this dude. Maybe I should try fire. I think it leveled up to like fire six or five or something. I don't remember. Let's take a look. We got we got all the time in the world. Or I could try Ultima. Yeah, let's try fire. Yeah, I knew that was a matter of time. I'm thinking the strategy through- Ooh, fuck. You know what? That did a lot of damage. I'm thinking the strategy might be uh, honestly loading the fuck up on ethers. Yeah, I think I'll do that. But for now, we'll, we'll push on a little bit further, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna exit soon. So, I'll throw a costume to the wind and just make sure that I don't get bamboozled. I'm downloading this area in my brain right now. It doesn't stand a chance. <clears throat> All right. thought process, um, I am going to heal my poison, of course, and I am going to actually cut this part here, uh, because we are approaching like 45 minutes. I really don't like to do the super long ones, and like I said, I'm, I'm not putting pressure on myself anymore. So we're going to cut it here. Uh, when we come back, we're obviously going to resume here in the whirlwind. Uh, I'm going to explore this floor. And then I will retreat the town, um, you know, sell some stuff, buy some stuff, heal up, go back to the whirlwind, and then I'm probably just going to fast forward the footage uh, up until floor four, assuming that this isn't the floor that we continue, and this is a looting section, of course. It'll make sense when you watch it then. Either way, guys, hope you've been uh, enjoying the playthrough. I certainly have been. I'm really, really liking the end game. It's like caught me off guard, actually. Uh, please like the video if you've been enjoying this. Subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate that. 
and comment. I do my best to reply to all comments on all videos, and I'll see you guys back here in the whirlwind. Take care.